Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Leo Love Readings. This is a love reading for Aries and Aries Cross Watchers. <coughs> I'm sorry about my voice. Um, I am just getting over uh, having a cold, so my voice isn't super strong right now. But um, I am going to get a love message for you guys from whoever it is uh, who loves you. So I've already prepared the deck. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and just take seven from the middle. <clears throat> and that is gonna be uh, your love message from your person, okay? I wanna thank you guys for all of your likes, your shares, your subscriptions, your beautiful comments, your bookings, and <clears throat> your donations. Anything that you need about me, you're going to be able to find in the description box below the video. Alright, Aries, your first card is... Listen, you deserve love. Hm. Aww. And I love you every day. Aww. I prayed for you. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. I love you more. This person is so cute. Oh, I'm so afraid of love. Oh, I'll mend your broken heart. This person's like a kitten or something. And you fulfill my fantasies. Yeah, this person, uh, they're so sweet. This is, uh, maybe the sweetest reading that I've gotten so far. For some of you guys, I feel like this person kind of puts up a front. Like, um, they're really tough, or like they're just sort of unemotional, or maybe they're really just logical, and they're not really interested in love, or... Um, you know, they're like, they're like a G, you know, they're like a thug, and so they're not, you know, like, love isn't a thing. <clears throat> Whatever it is, it's a front. It's like, um, it's because this person is afraid of love, so, um, they just, they don't advertise <sighs> this part of themselves. It's like a... It's like, a, it's like a sort of like hidden part of them. But the truth is that this person is very, very, very sweet. And they love you like a huge amount. <laughs> Listen, you deserve love. I love you every day. I love you more. This person's saying they love you more than you love them. And that they prayed for you. They asked God for their person. And you came into their life. And and that kind of freaks them out a little bit. Like they're, they're kind of shook. That, that they asked for you. And then they actually got you. And so you're, you fulfill. Like you fulfill what they asked for. Their prayers. Their fantasies. You are all of the, all of the things. You're all of the things, and they see you as having a broken heart. So, sorry, I'm trying to hold it in a way where you can see the letters. They see you as having a broken heart, and they have made it their mission to mend that. It's so sweet. So, like, the fear isn't, like, the kind of fear where they're afraid of you or they're, or it's, like, a fear that will even keep them away from you. But they, they are, I, I feel like this person is a little bit more, like, in shock and awe than anything else. I think that's mostly what the fear is. Like, they're just, like, holy crap, like, I... I asked for this person and here they are. That's what I just keep hearing over and over again. Like, 
I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Practical Magic, but it kind of reminds me of that, like in the beginning of the movie where she doesn't ever want to be in love, so she creates this person that she doesn't think exists. And then she meets that person, like he existed, all of those things. Those weren't necessarily things that she asked for because she wanted them, though. In this case, this person asked for specific things that they wanted, and I think that it's the same... Uh, the reason that it's the same is because I, I think that this person had it in their mind like, yeah, right, like, how does that person exist? The things I want, how can that possibly exist in a person? How can this person possibly exist? And then here you come, like, yo, what's up? <laughs> hey. <laughs> and you're just, like, so, I feel like you're just so real. Like, you're so, um... You're, you're unusual and uh, I think that's it this person is just so shocked like the, the more they learn about you the more they see they're just more and more shocked because every new thing they love or everything every new thing they learn about you they love even more and so that's why it's like hey I love you I love you more I love you more every day like I love you so like I don't think this person has told you <clears throat> how <clears throat> I don't think they've told you here my throat sugar. I don't think this person has really told you how they feel. They're still trying to process that this is real <laughs> that you're real. And if you feel like if you know this person or there's something going on with you and this person and they seem a bit hesitant or they seem a bit reserved. Or they seem like they're taking their time and it's coming across to you as in they're not interested. It's actually totally opposite of that. And the reason that they're taking their time is because they just have to... It's like they have to know that you're real. They don't necessarily think you're lying or anything. They don't think you're fake. It's just like they're they're in shock. They're just like, but I gotta... Uh, it's like if you see something magical that you don't believe is real, you would just sit there and stare at it for a while just because you're like, I could, I just, I don't, <laughs> is this just going to vanish into thin air? It's, it's like that. It's like, I need a minute to like, for you to be that for long enough for me to believe that you're really that. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like that. It's beautiful.